Yeah, yeah. fans Nate with MMA profile here and I've got Invicta FC fighter Autumn Norton with me what's up we're gonna go ahead and walk around beautiful downtown Reno interview her talk about her last fight and then her upcoming fight and we're gonna get this whole thing nailed out I got to spend the whole morning with her uh, she worked her butt off which is very impressive so let's get down to it so tell us a little bit about yourself where are you from uh, I am from Steubenville, California, small town, and I moved to Reno about two years ago for full-time training. And what made you want to start fighting? <clears throat> uh, growing up, I was kind of a shithead, and I was fighting all the time. Uh, I don't know, I just always, I watched a lot of fights. Also, like the whole, you know, UFC growing up. Um, all the girls, and when girls got into it, I just, I was like, yeah, I want to do that. And so, as soon as I tried it out, I just fell in love with it. You have a favorite fighter? Um, favorite UFC fighter is John Jones. He's the man. Even though he's like a criminal. I mean, we're all, we all little, you know, we a little crazy sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> all right, all right. So you like the bad boys? Something like that. I don't know. Okay. He's a good fighter. Yeah, he is a good fighter. So now that you're in Invicta, how's that different from other organizations you've been to? Uh, I. I did my pro debut with Invicta, so they're a pretty big organization, and I was lucky enough to debut with them. So, uh, and watching Invicta number one, I remember watching the first one, and I was like, oh yeah, that's what I want to do. And I remember telling myself, uh, I'll, I'll fight for them one day. And then, you know, here I am. Uh, this is my third fight for them, so I'm just blessed. They're they're great. They take care of us. Yeah, so talk about Invicta FC. Yeah, I mean, Shannon uh, and everyone, the whole Invicta crew, they just, they take care of us. They are, they make everything so smooth the entire time. As soon as you get there, like, they're just, give you exactly what you have to do, like, when you have to do it, and it's so smooth. And Shannon, Shannon's great. She's just, what she's doing for the sport and for all of us is just amazing. So I, I notice on Invicta that they have a guy that walks around with his shirt off. Who's that dude? Uh, Elias, I've heard his, I don't know his last name but yeah he's the ring boy he's hilarious he's a good guy he's funny let's talk about your very first fight in Victa. uh first fight my pro debut I, I lost it uh it was a split decision close fight it was a hell of a fight and uh learned a shit ton in that fight uh not only about myself as a fighter but as a person and um just knowing that i really can't be broken and i'm gonna fight you know if someone's gonna beat me they're gonna have to try real hard and i'm not gonna stop until you know that third bell goes off uh yeah, it was a good fight, and uh, it was a super tough opponent, worthy opponent, but like I said, I'm, I've grown from that. I got right back into the gym um, right after that uh, fight, so made made some improvements and adjustments, and yeah, learned uh, learned so much from that one. And now your second fight. I watched that fight at your gym with your crew, which was really exciting. Yeah. Tell me how it was in the ring. Uh, in the ring, it, it felt good. I mean, as soon as I got the calls, I was on it. I was like, let's do it. It was a short notice. Took it like two weeks notice, <clears throat> and it was against a tough opponent, someone who I've been wanting to fight for a long time, and uh, I was just in the zone. I was like, "Insti, let's do it!" And it was a fucking hell of a performance, and I even uh, learned so much in that fight as well. Although I, I did really well the whole time, um, I just I'm kind of a perfectionist, and I just think I, I could have done better. So even since that fight, I've made just insane breakthroughs through training and through through life and just everything I just I feel so much better now you said you wanted to fight that girl did she take your lunch money or something no 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 I just thought it was a good matchup and it would be a good fight so <laughs> <laughs> you know you got a fight coming up September 17th yeah uh, you know who your opponent is uh, Brittany County and what do you know about her uh, she's tall she's long and she's tough so it'll be a good fight do you have any concerns about her uh, I do not. Now she's much taller than you, yeah. and she's not a grappler, but she's a striker, and you're a striker, but you're a really good grappler. So would you have a game plan coming in? Uh, wherever it goes, I mean, I'm comfortable either way. Um, I think regardless of where it goes, I'm going to have the advantage. I'm going to have the edge in it. So I can't wait to showcase that. And where's the fight going to be at? Uh, in Kansas City. Ooh. 
And what are you flying up there like a week before, a couple days before? What are you doing? Yeah, I think it's like a few days before. <clears throat> now, they're a lot lower altitude, so it's, you're not really concerned with any of the flight, coronavirus, or anything like that? Uh, we definitely got some. It's going to be a little weird this time because we, we get there, we get tested, and then I think we quarantine for like 24 hours or something like that, but I don't know. We'll so, see, what, see what happens. So with Invicta, um, are you hoping just to go all the way? Are you just kind of wanting to showcase your skills maybe to get in the UFC? What's what's kind of the plan? Do you have a plan? Uh, I mean, I think everyone's goal is the UFC, right? I mean, every fighter dreams of being in the UFC. Right now, I I love fighting for Invicta, and I'm not, you know, I'm good. I'm good where I'm at right now, and so we'll see what happens in the future. But this is the place to be. This is the best place to be right now is Invicta for sure. Now tell me about your coach. Kelly. Yeah, tell me about Kelly Anderson. Kelly is, I could consider one of my best friends. He's changed my life in so many ways, and he's really impacted my life and helped me kind of get my fire back. And, uh, you know, after a while, I, uh, I wasn't training for a long time, and then I just started training with him. And, man, he just, he freaking sees my potential, and he makes, he just helps me, me believe in myself, and he's great. It's great to have just positive people around you. Not only my coach, but my teammates, my whole team, man, they're just... Just good people. I'm very lucky to be where I'm at. And and me, of course. Yeah. <laughs> now, we've known each other for almost two years now. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? You're my very first video, actually. Nice. Uh, so, I wanted to walk with you for a while now, and I know this coronavirus has really screwed everything up and all this other stuff that's been going on. You, you're, you're busy. I'm busy. But I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> just from what I've seen, you look amazing. Thank you. And, like... I'm just kind of like, I was actually kind of like shocked like on how much uh, different you look physically yeah. and like your mind is like, you're, yeah. you're just right on the money. So what happened? Um, quarantine messed with me definitely a little bit. Our gym closed down for a couple of months and I mean, I'm one of those people, I need, I need training, I need this stuff. Like without it, I, I just get really depressed. And, but as soon as the gym back, opened back up, I mean, I was on it. And I got to fight, bam. So, I mean, now it's just, I just feel better after, you know, we all go through hard times and I pulled myself out of, out of a really dark place. And, you know, once we get through those and those breakthroughs and, uh, you know, fight through uh, that, that adversity, you feel so much stronger after it. So this is the best camp so far and I'm just, I'm just pumped. <laughs> What's the hardest part of, the, of your camp so far? Um, I don't know. I can't really even say anything's been really hard because everything's just been. You just feel like, like you're flowing real well. Uh, just perfect. Everything's just been, just like easy, like just per perfectly flowing. Cool. All right. So, I know a lot of women out there don't like to fight, but I know they want to do the same workouts and possibly do the same uh, diet. Um, do you have any special secrets that you could give ladies that are watching? Uh, I think. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is the number one thing that women should try to do or try to learn, not only for self-defense, but just for basic healthy habits. Definitely Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Nice. And like uh, one of these young ladies going to a Jiu-Jitsu gym or a fight gym or just a, a workout gym, uh, what would you say to them? How, how, would, how would they uh, find these gyms and, and how, how, would you choose, how would you tell them to choose the right gym? Um, definitely check out, you know, other like different gyms in your area and just get the right feel and the, the people who welcome you the most and they're just cool and like you know aren't trying to like hurt you or they're just trying to help you and be helpful um go to, like always pick that one because you know it's like having a gym and a team like especially in a sport where we're hurting each other and like it's like a different type of camaraderie that you build with people and it's nice to have that so you know it's, it's, it's always about having a family so outside the gym outside of fighting Outside of the diet, outside of training, um, what do you do for fun? Uh, a lot of people ask me that question and I never know how to answer it. Um, fighting is really my life and I, 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 if I'm not doing it, like, I'm just unhappy and I don't know, like, like, I just don't know what I'm doing. So I try to like, um, I kind of like just, my entire life just revolves around it, but I'm fighting and training, so that's how I like it. Do you have a um, do you have a cheat food, a favorite food that you like to eat outside sushi. of? Sushi. Oh, just sushi. Love sushi. What's your favorite roll? I don't freaking know off the top of my head. Any of them. They're so fucking good. 
Do you have a favorite place in Reno that you like to go eat? Tokyo Sushi. Oh yeah. man, Tokyo Sushi. You better sponsor me now. Better sponsor me, Tokyo. <laughs> now, how long you lived in Reno? Almost two years. Who's your best friend? Wendy Freeman. What's your favorite color? Black. Tell me about your tattoos on your arm. Um, a lot of them represent uh, just things I believe in and things I'm passionate about. Uh, so, yeah, you know, some good stuff. Plenty more will be happening soon. Is that the only tattoos you have is on that arm? No, I got some other stuff yeah. on my body, but... Do you like getting tattoos? I love tattoos. What's your favorite part about a tattoo? Um, if it's good quality, I just like the way it looks. I mean, you know, I'm just, I think it's a nice art. The experience, the bzzz. I f***ing hate getting tattooed. It's the worst experience. It's awful. God, when people say tattoos don't hurt, they're lying. <laughs> tattoos don't hurt. That doesn't hurt. They do hurt, by the way. Lying. Yeah. Now, when this fight happens in September, uh, tell me about like getting in the ring with these opponents, showing up, the the mindset, the mental, the physical, like when you're walking into the ring. Like, give me that experience. Um, I, but right before you walk out, your mind goes blank, and it's, it's all reaction. You know, you put all these hours of work in, the repetition, and it's just your mind shuts off, goes blank, and you, you just react. And that's all it is. It's just natural. I feel like it's just a natural. Go this way. No, how about the nerves? How do you deal with the nerves? The, the nerves just go away. Like they're there. Like I can't. Sh I'm not gonna lie. Everyone's. It's a fight. You're gonna be scared. You're gonna be nervous, but. They go away, like, you know. Was there any one single event in your life that brought you to fighting? Um, when you look back. Maybe not particularly, but as soon as I did it, like, I knew. Like, as soon as I put on a pair of gloves and I hit a bag in my first, like, kickboxing class, I was like, oh, yeah, the, this is it. This is what I'm going to do. And ever since then, it's just been my just nonstop thought. Like, it, it never shuts off. So you just eat, sleep, and drink fighting. I guess, yeah. <laughs> so on your on your meal plans, what you got going? Uh, I got a pretty good routine right now, so just eat clean, you know, get those miles in, and it's working out. And you said you got a favorite vegetable? Brussels sprouts. Now, what's your calorie count at right now? I don't re really even count calories. What do you do? I just eat clean. I stop eating. Yeah. I fast. I do what's up? I'll do some fasting. Um, that seems to always work for me if I just fast for a good like 16, 14 hours. That's your kind of your diet plan is the fasting? Yeah, like get all my good healthy meals in during the day and then just fast for the rest of the day and then wake up, eat a good breakfast. It works out really well. Oh my gosh, that sounds like hell. <laughs> I eat probably all day long. Yeah? Yeah, that's why I'm such a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of dog would you want if you could choose any dog? A baby bulldog, a little baby bulldogs in my hands. I'm gonna ugly cry for like ever. Aww. I get one. What kind of music you listen to? I listen to a lot of rap. You like rap a lot? Yeah, I like yeah. rap the majority of the time. Who's your favorite rapper? Nipsey Hussle. I never heard of that one. Well, you should look him up. I stopped listening to rap when Dr. Dre quit. <laughs> well, listen to this guy, he's great. He's yeah. dead now, but he's great. He's dead? Yeah, man. Well, then you're not gonna hear any of his new stuff. I know, it's, that's a bummer. You gamble? No, I've never gambled a day in my life. Really? Yeah. You never said, I'll bet you a dollar? Uh, I mean, like that. I thought you were talking like slot machines. <laughs> <laughs> I bet all the time. Matter of fact, I bet on your fight. I bet that you were going to lose. Oh, yeah? You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you got brothers and sisters? Uh, I do. I have two older brothers and an older sister. And what do they do? Are they fighters? No. They're lovers. Oh, they got the they got that river the the Kern. There's a river every town you go to. Yeah, but the Kern River is special. Yeah. It kills people. It's called the Killer <laughs> Kern. Very special. Yeah. So you meal prep? Yeah. You do it yourself? I do. Do you have like 18 dishes and then you just like serve all 18 kinds of meal to it same? Uh yeah. Eat you the weigh same it out? Thing. Yeah, I weigh it out. And I eat the same thing pretty much every day, but I like it. Do you ever uh, just? accidentally drop a scoop of ice cream in one of your meal preps? <laughs> no, I do not. So you know a good friend of mine, Jim West. Okay. He's up in Sacramento. Yeah. He's, he's the big coach for uh, MMA Gold. Yeah. So tell me how you got hooked up with those guys. Uh, a long time ago, I went to SAC for a little bit, stayed there and trained, and uh, then I ended up coming back. And uh, just recently, we've been uh, getting a lot of working together. I go down there maybe once or twice a week and uh, get some good work in. 
with uh, Jim and the whole team and uh, Mike. Um, Coach Mike Guy been helping out my boxing, so that's been great, and I'm making good strides. So whole team and Megal, they're awesome. They are pretty cool. And that Mike Guy, is a, he's a badass. Yeah, he's cool. He's a character. Yeah. Now, uh, you, you get to spar with people like KGB, Aspen Ladd, uh, Anthony Hernandez. Yeah. You also spar with guys like Max Griffin or, or roll with those guys? Uh, yeah, we get a little bit of working together. Mainly just stick with uh, the girls and the smaller people. But uh, yeah, it's good work. A lot, of, a lot of killers over there. Oh, yeah. Now tell me about Jim West. How is he different from Kelly? Um, I think every, you should always pull what you can from every coach you work with. Always take little things from each of them so that way you're just getting different looks. And uh, yeah, he brings something new to the table. And like every coach you work with, you know, he's very good. He's good at what he does. And he's a positive coach, a good guy. So I'm thankful that he takes time and gives me work. And it's just great. There's a bright future ahead. So I'm excited. You got a favorite movie? I do have a favorite movie. It's older, but The Outsiders, my favorite movie of all time. With like Ralph Macchio and those guys? Yeah. From way back in the 80s? That's right. Something about Pony Boy? Yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh. How the heck did you know about that movie? <laughs> I love that movie. It's my favorite. That's crazy. That's like the oldest movie ever. Yeah. And you know, like everybody in that show is like a star. Yeah, they're awesome. That's a great movie. I love that movie. You like going to the movies? I love going to the movies. You get popcorn and candy? Um, no, not really. I'm not really the big candy person. You got like one of your meal preps with you? Yeah, you know some fucking Brussels sprouts <laughs> the movies. I can see that. Uh, you got any fighters you look up to? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of fighters who I look up to. Um, my favorite one, John Jones. I just think he's, you know, a great athlete, great, uh, great fighter. And um, I've always looked up to him throughout, throughout my career. <clears throat> uh, a lot of people um, on my team, one in particular, Cameron Sandoval. I look up to him the most. He's like my inspiration. and. He's awesome. He's just he's got a great attitude, hard worker, and just he's the definition of resilience. And I try to be like that. So, is there anybody that you would just love to fight? There's tons, you know. Well, I mean, there's a lot of like respectable, you know, uh, women who have I lo who I looked up to like since I first began, and uh, just to be able to share the ring with them, like that'd be awesome. Now I know you're pretty known for not trying to talk smack or call people out, and I'm trying to drag it out of you. It's not gonna happen. But if you were in a title fight, who would you love that opponent to be? Title fight. Dream. This is a dream. It's not even real. If they're watching. Um, I'd say Holly Holm. She's a very good striker, and um, I look up to her so much. And on, yeah, it'd be great. It'd be awesome. It'd be a great opportunity. Freaking. Yeah, she's awesome. Let's talk about something a little controversial. Let's talk about fighters fighting during this pandemic. I think we should all just keep working. We all need to just still be on top of it because this isn't going to last forever. And anyone trying to use that as an excuse is, you know, it's just bullshit. Just keep working because this is going to be over before we know it. And fights are going to come up. More fights are happening. More promotions are happening. So we just got to just got to do it. Let's talk about a little bit behind the scenes. A lot of people have never had that opportunity to go behind the scenes. They usually buy a ticket. They sit in the crowd. When they get thirsty, they go out in front. But they never know what's going on in the back. Kind of paint the picture for people that don't know what happens behind the scenes uh, when you're back there getting wrapped up, you know, getting ready for your fight. Uh, I mean, the whole week it's all about, you know, videos and interviews and stuff like that and pictures. Uh, close to the fight, you know, get the weight cut down, all that. Uh, do the weigh-ins and then before the fight, it, I, I, always, I always love the vibe in the, in the before the fight, like in the back while you're warming up. It's just, I love that feeling, like it's just, there's nothing like it, and it's, it's a great feeling. So, and like a lot of people will try to like run away from that because it's an uncomfortable feeling. But you gotta learn to love that. And at the end of the day, I love fighting, and I'm passionate about it. It's my life's work, and it's just I love it so much. So, you want to say anything? You want to say anything to your fans? Uh, thank you guys for the support. Tune in, and I can't wait to put on the show. You got any sponsors you want to say what's up? Uh, yeah, shout out to Marvel Maniacs, Diamond Casino, JMB Medical and uh, Sacred Roots for helping me out during this camp. I uh, can't wait to make you guys all proud. Well, this has been MMA Profile Walk and Talk with Autumn Norton, Victor FC. She's gonna bring home a W September 17th, so tune in. A UFC Fight Pass. UFC Fight Pass, if you're a UFC Fight Pass uh, customer, you'll be able to watch the fight. Isn't that? You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah.
Let's go. Let's